Cakes. I hope you enjoy my very first video. You are all that I'll ever need. You are all that I'll ever need. You are all that I'll ever need. You are all few supplies you're going to need. So the number one thing that I would recommend is to get yourself a set of couplers and you can just pop your tip on, screw it down. You can do many more different kinds of flowers with the same bag which is good for cleanup. So I've just put some of um, just my plain white uncolored glossy buttercream in one of my plain piping bags. Now I'm going to pop that into um, this blue bag that's already fitted with a coupler. Do a little squeeze, and as you can see, the buttercream is ready to come out. So we're gonna be using that for the base of our flowers. I have another clean bag. I'm just gonna take a little bit of just the white and coat it around the sides of this bag. So that's just gonna make my flowers look a lot more natural when they come out. Now I'll fill it with the um, beautiful dusty pink color. I don't want to overfill my bag. The longer you work with the bag, the more the warmth of your hands will affect the texture of the buttercream. I'm just going to push it down just to the bottom. Pop it into my piping bag that is already ready to go with a coupler. I'm using this um, lovely little teardrop one. This is the best way to make um, peonies. So we've got our parchment square secured on our wine glass or flower nail with a bit of um, frosting underneath. You want to pipe your base um, with no tip. It can be any color really that you have. We have a nice little base there for our flower. It makes the flower look more dimensional with the wide side facing down and the narrow one up. You're going to just squeeze gently and turn the glass. So you do a little bit of an up and a down motion as you're piping. So squeeze up and down, squeeze up and down, squeeze up and down. So now you've overlapped it all the way around. And this tip does much of the work for you because of the curve. The petals that you pipe kind of fall inwards on themselves. Take the tip in that same orientation just at the base of the flower, I'm going to pipe and um, use my left hand to move the wine glass in a circle so that I cover the base. You're going to start at the base, squeeze up and down. Squeeze up and down. So I'm going to keep doing that. And with each layer of petals that you do, you're going to squeeze and pull for a bit longer. I like to do one layer of just like kind of one-offs. So I've got one there. I'm not going to go right next to it. I'm going to go out a little ways, do another one. So if you can see, I have a gap there. And again, I'm going to rotate it, do another little one-off and another little one. So starting in the middle of one of the petals that you just piped, you're going to squeeze, come up and down. So don't get discouraged if it doesn't work. So it, it is a bit of an art and it's a craft and it takes a while. And when you have flowers that don't work out, toss them back into the bowl, whip it up again and try again. So as you can see, this is the last layer and I'm doing big petals. I've put some white buttercream throughout the bag. I have a lovely color gradient that makes it look really natural. 